Let's continue our discussion on bitwise operators in Python. This is part 2 of bitwise operators. In the last presentation, that is in part 1 of bitwise operators, we have seen two different types of operators, bitwise AND and bitwise OR. We have understood them very well and now we are ready to see the next two operators in this presentation. So let's get started and let's see the topics of this presentation. The first topic is bitwise NOT operator which is represented by this tilde symbol and the second topic is bitwise XOR operator which is represented by the circumflex symbol. We will understand these two topics in detail. So without any further delay, let's get started and let's start with the first topic that is bitwise NOT operator. So what is bitwise NOT operator which is represented by this tilde symbol? Bitwise NOT operator returns once complement of a number. So the job of bitwise NOT operator is to return once complement of a number. Now let's understand what is the meaning of once complement. We can understand the meaning of once complement easily through an example. Let's consider one example where a is equal to 10. So the value of a is 10. The binary representation of 10 is 1010. 0, 0. Or in other words, we can say that a in binary is 1010 0, 0 because a is holding this value 10. And now we need to take the bitwise not of this binary number. As bitwise operators can only be operated on bits, this is the reason why we have converted this value 10, which is in decimal, to its equivalent binary value, which is 1010. 0, 0. So now let's perform bitwise NOT operator on this value. So NOT of A is equal to NOT of 1010. 0, 0. Now let's see what is the result of bitwise NOT of 1010. 0, 0. One's complement means that each bit will be complemented in this number. And complement means that the bit will be flipped. So 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. So if we flip each bit in this number, we will get 1's complement of this number. So we will get 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the result of bitwise not of this number 1, 0, 1, 0. I hope this is clear. Now, we just need to identify what is the decimal equivalent of this number. The positional weight of this digit 1 is 2 to the power 0 and the positional weight of this digit 1 is 2 to the power 2. So 2 to the power 2 is 4 and 2 to the power 0 is 1. 4 plus 1 gives us 5. So we will eventually get 5 in decimal from here. So not of A is equal to 5. Now let's verify this through Python interpreter. For this we need to open our command prompt. Type A equal to 10 which means that variable A is pointing to this value 10. Now we need to hit enter type not A or tilde A. If we do this and if we hit enter we will get minus 11. But why is that the case? We must get 5 not minus 11. Now we need to understand why are we getting minus 11 here. We must be doing something wrong in our calculations. Let's see what we are doing wrong. Here again we are in the same example. We know that A in binary is 1010. 0, 0. This is not a problem. But we are missing on one thing. We have not mentioned the sign bit in front of this. Now what is the meaning of sign bit? Sign bit is an additional bit which tells the sign of the number. As this bit is 0 in this case, this means that the number that we are currently looking at is a positive number. We know that 1010 0, 0 is binary equivalent of this decimal number 10, which is a positive number. This is the reason why sign bit in this case is 0. If sign bit is 1, then the binary number is representing a negative decimal value. But right now it is representing a positive decimal value. So the sign bit is 0. Now with this sign bit, the whole calculation will be changed. Let's see how. Here we need to put sign bit in front of this also. 
now we need to take the not of 0 1 0 1 0 we will get 1 0 1 0 1 instead of just 0 1 0 1 so now we are taking into account the sign bit also as now the sign bit is 1 we must get a negative number from here and the interesting thing is that the positional weight of this digit is a negative value here we know that the positional weight of this digit is 2 to the power 0 and the positional weight of this digit is 2 to the power 2 the positional weight of the sign bit this bit is minus 2 to the power 4 so the positional weight of this digit or this bit is minus 2 to the power 4 now we need to do the calculations we know that we eventually need to add the positional weights together minus 2 to the power 4 first must be multiplied by 1 we'll get minus 2 to the power 4 only 2 to the power 2 into 1 is 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 0 into 1 is 2 to the power 0 this is 1 this is 4 and this is minus 16 now in order to get the equivalent decimal value we need to add all the results we need to add minus 16 4 and 1 minus 16 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to minus 11 this is the reason why we were getting minus 11 as not of a so not of a is not 5 but minus 11 we just need to take into account the sign bit i hope the concept is completely clear now we are done with this topic that is bitwise not now we need to move to the next topic that is bitwise xor which is represented by the circumflex symbol bitwise xor operator returns one if one of the bits is one otherwise or else it returns zero so bitwise xor operator returns one if one of the bits is one it's not the case that when both the bits are one we will get one we'll get one only when one of the bits is one otherwise we will get zero let's understand the working of bitwise xor operator with the help of an example let's take these two values 10 and 9 a is pointing to 10 and b is pointing to 9 so we have two different variables a and b now the binary equivalent of a is 1010 and binary equivalent of b is 1001 now we need to take the bitwise xor of these two values you might be wondering why aren't we considering the sign bits here there is no need to take sign bits in this case because eventually this will not affect the result it is important to consider the sign bit in case of bitwise not because eventually the sign bit affects the result while in this case there is no effect because these two values are positive values and hence the sign bits are 0 and 0 in both these cases 0 xor 0 will give us 0 as we will get 1 only when one of the bits is 1 hence xor of 0 and 0 will give us 0 only which means we will get a positive value only hence the sign bits are not affecting the result this is the reason why we are not taking sign bits here i hope this is clear so we are just considering the magnitude that is the actual values so now we need to take the bitwise xor of these two binary values 1010 xor with 1001 0 xor 1 is 1 because xor operator returns 1 if one of the bits is 1 here one of the bits is 1 this bit is 1 hence we are getting 1 as a result 1 xor 0 will also give us 1 0 xor 0 will give us 0 and 1 xor 1 will also give us 0 this will give us 3 as a result because the decimal equivalent of this binary number is 3 now let's verify this result with the help of python interpreter for this we again need to go to our command prompt now we need to type this command a equal to 10 we need to hit enter and we need to write b equal to 9 then again we need to hit enter and this time we need to write a xor b a xor b will give us 3 as a result 
we will always get a decimal value from the python in order to get the binary value we need to provide this a xor b to the bin function if we provide this to the bin function we will get 0b11 as a result by the way you can also provide not of a to the bin function in the previous case when we discuss about bitwise not you can check that on your own what binary value you will get after passing not of a to this bin function so now we are done with these two topics that is bitwise not and bitwise xor we have understood the concepts of how bitwise not works what is the meaning of once complement and how sign bit can affect the result and we have also understood the working of bitwise xor operator bitwise xor is little different from or in case of bitwise or if at least one of the bits is one we will get one as a result but in case of bitwise xor at most one bit should be one then only we will get one i hope the concept is completely clear so we are done with these two topics and this means that we are done with this entire lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one